Do you want me to help you through the crowd? No, it's not romantic, don't worry. So now when you're pulling, okay, you want to be walking in the front, you want to be leading and holding the girl's hand from behind. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to be breaking down a five minute night game pull from a nightclub. And I'm also going to walk through some of my cold approach process, okay, in a flow chart to show you exactly how it works. Okay, I also want to announce we are running another three day challenge. It will be September 9th through 11th. This time it is absolutely free, okay? There is no catch. You literally can join it for free and you can learn my entire cold approach system, including all of my night game and all of my day game. Nothing held back there. The purpose is that we want a whole bunch of people to come in and get blown away by the value. Last time when we ran a challenge, we had over 700 people join and this time we're expecting thousands and it was an incredible experience for all these different guys. Okay, lots of guys had massive levelings up. You're gonna learn my entire cold approach strategy. So without further ado, Let's jump in here, uh, pulling a hot girl with a nice ass. It's like prime time now, it's like about midnight, it's fucking prime time. So I'm telling my wingman, it's prime time, it's midnight, right? If you're out in the US, the clubs close at two, you wanna start trying to hone in and really lock down on a set around 12, 12.30. This is the girl I told you about earlier. No, we were like, we were like, I was like, do you like that fucking hair that she's rocking? He was like, I fucking love it. A common opener that I would use with wingmen is I would say, hey, this is the girl I was telling you about earlier. And then I would just make some comment about her physical appearance. Oh, she has this awesome hair. She's rocking. This is the girl I was telling you about, right? And then I would introduce my wingman and have him meet the girl. So lovely. No girls like wear their hair that fucking extravagant anymore these days. We want, we want, we want to just walk up and make out. So it's me and my wingman, we're both like double teaming this set. So we're both making jokes, flirting, etc. So he just made some kind of like joke and she's laughing. And <laughs> what did he say? And I thought about it, I thought about it. Okay. What did he say? What did he say? So we're both building the vibe up here. I'm the one that ends up pulling the girl, but we're both just like fucking around with her right now. Wait, you said you want to walk up and make out with her? No, I'm just <laughs> so I try to amp it up further. I'm like, you said you want to walk up and make out with her? I'm out of pocket there. And so now I'm being physical. Now I'm moving in. We're not really like competing. When we would go out, we would both get laid a ton. Okay, with this particular wingman. In 2013, I remember when RSD had the World Summit. We didn't go to that, but we went out a bunch of the nights and we pulled 12 for 12 nights together. Okay, this was in 2013. This was around the time that I was around like 200 lay count. Now there's been over 1,300 more. Okay, at the time of this recording, I'm at 1,533. You know, I've gotten significantly better. Okay. You Whoa! You guys say that you want to do it. All right, I want to make out of these so hard. It's just my friends were next door. Does she have your friends or no? She says her friends are next door. That's why she's by herself. And stick around here because I'm going to go through my, my night game chart and show you guys exactly the process I was using in order to get this pull. Are you down to meet up? Uh, we're having a party later on tonight. What are you doing after this? All right, so this is called seating the pool. We're having a party after this. What are you doing after this? Asking logistical questions. It's our roommate's birthday, yeah. We live downtown. And like your house, like an after party? Yeah. DJ, I just moved here from Vegas. Okay, so now I'm doing the DHV thing. Oh, I DJ, I just moved here from Vegas, and I'm seeding the idea that we should go hang out afterwards. So I DJ downtown and stuff like that. Uh, DJ. Uh, here, Flux, Hard Rock. Do you? And my wingman's got distracted on a different girl now. When do you DJ at Flux? What's up? When do you DJ at Flux? Once a month. Sorry. Why did she want to meet you? She wanted to meet me. Because, because, because I told her that she wanted to meet me. 
So now I'm going for a number close here. Okay, even though I'm gonna still try to pull, you always wanna get the number close in the first two or three minutes. Things can suddenly end. The friends can come and drag her away, right? She could get distracted. She could eventually start to lose interest potentially. So you wanna get the number so you can contact her later. And by the way, guys, for my full system, okay, this approach breakthrough challenge that I mentioned, is a free event. You can go in the description for that and check out the page for that to join that free event to learn cold approach. But for the full system, go check out my eight week program. It's the best in the industry. Okay, you can book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description. Can I invite you out later? All right, sure. Are you 858 or 619? What? Are you 619 or 858? 619, so you guys are having a party? Yeah, tonight? yeah. Are you 619 what? All right, so she's putting her number in. I'm asking more logistical questions. Who are you here with? Uh, at this point, just myself. Are you down to do some shots and then we can go to Bucks? We live like three blocks away. Huh? So now I'm trying to get her to pull. I'm saying, hey, I live close by. We can go have some drinks there and then we can potentially go to another club. Yeah, we live like three blocks away. Are you down to go rip some shots with us and then we'll go to Bucks? Uh, we have friends at Bucks too. Shots, but Drink, beers, wine, champagne. It's not set on shots. Let's do that. Because we have friends back at the house right now. Does my friends right there? No, no, let me do She's like, oh, I can't just leave, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I'm no, I mean, no, I mean, just explain. I understand. I understand. Oh, let, me, let me explain. I get it. I know how to answer. Let me explain. It's my mate's birthday. What did you type in there? I thought I typed Oh, you didn't type anything. You can dance there. There you go. There's a song called Taylor Gang. It's by Wiz Khalifa, he's a rap star. Hold on, listen. <laughs> so now my friend, he always would do like dance moves and shit. So, but we're just fucking around here a bunch. Listen, listen. Here's the thing. Wait, come here, hey. Huddle up, huddle up. All right, here's the thing. Come here. All right, here's the thing. So it's my birthday, right? He's one of our good friends, yeah. Now she's meeting the cameraman. We had thought we always had the camera concealed. The lens would be popping out through a buttonhole in the vest. He's just a boy. Albert. Albert? <laughs> Alright, it's her birthday. So you just moved here from Vegas. What's your he story? just moved here from Arizona. So I'm like fucking doing all the logistics, right? Like doing all the technical stuff, setting the frame for the pull. And she's like, oh, you're the wheeler and the dealer. The wheeler? My friend, yeah, exactly. My friend's name is Chris Wheeler. <laughs> like my friend's name is Chris Wheeler. I know all the people at Bucks. Uh, we're gonna walk in, we're gonna walk straight to the front of the line. I DJ there. Take so now when you're pulling, okay, you want to be walking in the front, you want to be leading and holding the girl's hand from behind. She wants to be led through the crowd. You don't want to just hope she follows behind. <laughs> No, seriously though, I love the way that you rock this fucking hair. Uh, what? 
I love the way you rock this hair. Oh, thanks. What is your ethnicity? I am 100% Italian. Ooh, I was gonna guess part Italian. I wouldn't have guessed 100 though. Well, yeah, it's my first time. I'm, guess what I am, I'm half Polish, half what? Irish? Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. You don't like doing shots or what? He's coming. I think he saw someone. He's just saying hi real quick. You don't like doing shots at all? So this was like. <laughs> the year, or no, this was like the year Uber came out, but it wasn't that popular yet, so we're like waving fucking cabs down here. I have to get my wits about me. So Your wits shots. about you? Yes. Wits? I love shots. Shots are fine, and they're going by you. Okay. What, do you, what do you drink? Like, what do you prefer to drink? Mm, that's anything that's not sweet. Like uh, wine, champagne? Champagne gets a little sweet, so not <laughs> It's a no liquor. No, I like liquor. Do you like beer? Mm, it's a little too filling and all right heavy. beer's filling liquor is all too sweet wine is made too sweet yeah. is that real everything okay, he's definitely coming okay and so we're going to your place i don't know like girl going there right no there's now. girls there already okay we're good i'm texting him you ready So this was the fucking cameraman here. Uh, what do you drink though if you don't drink anything? Reflective, but yeah, I mean, I'm into it. That's sweet, yeah. We always cut the cab footage because we, we ran all our infield through a privacy attorney. He said that there's an ex a reasonable expectation of privacy within a cab, so we always cut that. That's not my favorite. <clears throat> I didn't, can I get back uh, 13? Yeah. All right, and that's pretty much it. We fucking lead her in, okay? Didn't end up going back out. Once you get back in, okay, you can move into the makeout, you can move into foreplay, et cetera, et cetera. And then people just get into the mood to stay there, okay, back once they're back at the house with you. Before we jump into the flow chart, where I show you the breakdown of what's going on here, I wanted you guys to get on a free 30-minute call and also check out our approach breakthrough challenge. Okay, that is a free event to learn my full cold approach system. The link is in the description for that as well. Here's my cold approach overview. Okay, it consists of three major steps. We have the opening, we have attraction, we have closing. Okay, so opening, there's certain principles you should do. When you're running the actual interaction itself, you're gonna be asking logistical questions to find out what you're dealing with. You're going to be escalating physically to take you out of the friend zone and make things non-platonic. And you're gonna be seeding the pool, which is planning the idea of the girl coming home with you. You're also going to be answering objections if you can answer those objections, you can pull the girl. And if not, you take the phone number and set up a date for later. Now there's way more that goes into this and you have the opportunity for free to learn my entire cold approach system, all the details that are underlying all these boxes here. Go in the description, check out the page. It's called the Approach Breakthrough Challenge. It's September 9th through 11th. It's a free event where you can learn my whole cold approach system. Okay, we're trying to blow you away with value so that you'll see how quickly we can get you very good at cold approach so that you then are able to go forth and need the rest of the system. Okay, and that's where my eight week program comes in. Okay, just being totally upfront. That's our motivation for doing this. Go look at that link in the description and I appreciate all your guys' support and lots of cool things coming as we move forward. Okay, make sure you subscribe if you have not already, like the video, comment, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much, see you guys in the next video. Take care. Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.